Thank you, Paul. This is a... Um, I think this is a, a, a pretty good list, considering it's our last list, and uh, uh, the category, Top 10 Things I've Always Wanted to Say to Dave. Ah. Yeah. Now listen to this. Presenting tonight's Top 10 list, 10 frequent late show guests and good friends of ours. Once again, top 10 things, and let me just thank them in advance. I appreciate their time, their talents, and their generosity. Top 10 things I've always wanted to say to Dave. Number 10, Alec Baldwin. Of all the talk shows, yours is most geographically convenient to my home. Thank you, Alec. Thank you. Number nine, Barbara Walters. Okay. Dave, did you know that you wear the same cologne? As Mama Gaddafi? Yes, yes, Barbara. I do know that. Number eight, Steve Martin. Your extensive plastic surgery was a necessity and a mistake. <laughs> Number seven, Jerry Seinfeld. Dave, I have no idea what I'll do when you go off the air. You know, I just thought of something. I'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. It's very nice of you. I, th I think Jerry may have a benefit later. Number six, Jim Carrey. Honestly, Dave, I've always found you to be a bit of an overactor. Number five, Chris Rock. I'm just glad your show is being given to another white guy. <laughs> you know, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Uh, number four, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for letting me take part in another hugely disappointing series finale. Nothing to do with that either. <laughs> Number three, Peyton Manning. Dave, you are to comedy what I am to comedy. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Peyton! Oh, oh, oh my God! Number two, Tina Fey. Thanks for finally proving men can be funny. 
<laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, things I've always wanted to say to Dave. Number one, Bill Murray, ladies and gentlemen. Dave, I'll never have the money I owe you. Oh, no.